Hello friends, welcome to Love Medics. In this video, I am going to explain about the cholera. Contents of the video Introduction, Epidemiology, Causes, S Factor, Pathogenesis, Symptoms and Complications, Cholera in Children, Diagnosis, Treatment and Discharge, Prevention and Vaccination, Prognosis and Differential Diagnosis. Cholera is the acute diarrheal illness. Infection of the intestine. The infection is caused by the bacteria. That bacteria is Vibrio cholera. It is the bacterial infection. It is characterized by acute onset of diarrhea, vomiting, fluid loss that leads to dehydration. Epidemiology. It is more prevalent in 80s and it is a pandemic. It spread worldwide. It is rare in developed countries and it is common in Asia, Africa, Latin America. Causes It is caused by Vibrio cholera and that Vibrio cholera is transmitted through contaminated food and water and poor hygiene, eating raw foods and cooked shellfish. The risk factor of cholera It is affected in all age group but it is, it is severely affected in children and elder peoples. It is common in male and female. And it is affected in low immunity patients and also the people with gastric acid level also have high risk. Why? Because the bacteria is reaches the stomach after ingestion. If the gastric acid level is increased, it kills the bacteria. If the gastric acid level is low, it can't ride. So, the people with low gastric acid level has more risk and blood group. O blood group people are more affected than B than AB people. What is Vibrio cholera? Vibrio cholera is the gram negative organism and it is a motile organism and it is strongly aerobic. It lived in the aerobic condition. In smear, it looked like fish in the stream appearance and this organism is multiply in water and Vibrio cholera is survive in fresh water for 2 weeks and in salt water for 8 weeks. Infectious dose of Vibrio cholera. If we inject the 1000 to 10 lakh organism, it may cause us cholera. In food, few organism is enough to cause the cholera. Source of the cholera. Ingestion of contaminated water and foods. The incubation period is 1 to 5 days, which means if the Vibrio cholera is entered into our body, it causes the symptom after 2 to 5 days. Transmission of Vibrio cholera. Humans only the reservoir. The contaminated water or food is ingested by the human. It passes from the fecal oral route and improperly cooked foods and contaminated water and foods. Pathophysiology The Vibrio cholera accumulated in the stomach and it multiply in intestine and it produce the toxin. The toxin penetrate the intestinal wall and, and it inactivate the GTPS and activate the ion channel. So, the toxin prevent the absorption of water from the digested food and that leads to watery diarrhea and dehydration. See here, the food is ingested by human and that is passes into the small intestine that Vibrio cholera produce the toxin and the toxin enters into the wall of the intestine and the toxin activates the ion channel. So, the water from the body is released into the lumen of the intestine. The water is released into the lumen of the intestine. So, that causes watery diarrhea. Now, the symptoms of the cholera. Watery diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, mild fever and severe dehydration, low blood pressure, rapid weight loss and decreased urinary output. These are the symptoms of the cholera. Complication. Dehydration that leads to muscle pain and the severe dehydration that leads to the renal failure. 
why because the kidney is maintained by the compensatory mechanism so the kidney undergoes renal failure and it leads to shock and death cholera in children the breastfeed infants are protected vibrio cholera is less common in breastfed infants the symptoms are very severe and fever is frequent shock drowsiness and coma are most common hypoglycemia that leads to convulsion these symptoms are also the differential diagnosis of the rotavirus also diagnosis cholera is diagnosed by the history collection blood analysis stool examination microscopy string test culture serological test and additional methods first history collection we think about the cholera why people tell these symptoms that is watery diarrhea and high stool and we should ask the outing plans of the patient and also personal habits also and that is eating habits in blood analysis the wbc level that means leukocyte level is reduced and in stool examination the leukocyte level is elevated because the bacteria is present in the intestine only right so the leukocyte level is increase in the stool microscopy pink color curved gram negative rod is present in gram stain and in dark field or face contrast microscope it shows shooting star like motility it is the motile organism right so it shows shooting star motility culture the sample is rectal swab or stool the special media for the vibrio cholera is tcbs agar that is thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar in tcbs agar the vibrio cholera shows yellow color colonies string test means we should take the loop full of vibrio cholera and add the drop of 0.5 percentage sodium deoxycholate solution that produces the mucoid this is the string test the string is produced by vibrio cholera it is the positive string test serological test it is used to identify the area of infection an additional method is pcr management we should isolate the patient and the excretion of the patient should be properly disposed of treatment oral rehydration intravenous rehydration and antimicrobial therapy treatment the patient have diarrhea and vomiting so it leads to dehydration and electrolyte imbalance so we should replace the fluid the fluid should be given till the diarrhea stops there are two types one is oral rehydration other one is intravenous rehydration in oral rehydration sodium chloride and glucose is done to stimulate the water uptake by the intestine intravenous rehydration is used to restore the large amount of the fluid and it is also used for who can't take the oral solution rehydration has two phases one is rehydration phase another one is a maintenance phase rehydration phase goal of the rehydration phase is to restore the normal hydration status in severe patient we should give the iv fluid that is oral 50 to 100 ml per kg per hour in moderate patient ors is enough in maintenance phase the goal is to maintain the normal hydration status by replacing the ongoing losses oral route is preferred in the maintenance phase the ors at rate of 500 to 1000 ml per hour and it is matches the ongoing losses with ors administration treatment in antibiotic therapy we give the tetracycline 500 mg 6th hourly for 5 days doxycycline 300 mg or ciprofloxacin 1 g in adult single dose and chloramphenicol and fluorazolidone are other drug for the antibiotic choice it is used to reduce the period of vibrio cholera excretion and diminish the duration of the diarrhea and decrease the fluid loss criteria for the discharge after receiving the therapy of adequate rehydration and we should maintain the 
three criteria. One is oral intake. It should be greater than or equal to 100 ml per hour. The urine output is greater than or equal to 40 ml per hour and the stool volume is less than or equal to 400 ml per hour. Prevention. Basic health education and proper hygiene. Drink the boiled water and frequently hand washing. Cook the food thoroughly and antibiotic prophylaxis for the index cases. Vaccination against cholera is also used for the travelers. Vaccination. Parenteral vaccine for the travelers. Killed vaccine for the pregnant or lactating women. Live or attenuated vaccine for the children for under 2 years. Prognosis. The prognosis is very good for the mild to moderate patient and it is also depending upon the severity and the mortality rate which means the death rate is increased in untreated cholera patient. Differential diagnosis for the cholera is enterotoxigenic E. coli, bacterial food poisoning, viral gastroenteritis. Cholera overview. It is the acute diarrheal illness caused by the infection of the intestine with the bacteria Vibrio cholerae and it is caused by Vibrio cholerae by contaminated water and food, poor hygiene, eating raw foods and cooked shellfish. Symptoms, watery diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, mild fever and severe dehydration. The Vibrio cholera that treats the intestine, it produces the toxin that stimulates the CIMP that increases the loss of fluid from the body to the intestine. The diagnosis for the cholera is history collection, blood analysis, tool examination, microscopy, string test, culture, serology test and additional methods. Treatment for the cholera is oral rehydration, IV rehydration and antibiotic therapy. Question time. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholera. Symptoms of cholera is diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, mild fever and severe dehydration. Special medium for the cholera is TCBS agar. Treatment for cholera is oral rehydration, intravenous rehydration and antibiotic therapy. Thank you.